has joined hands with Bill Gates, who is the new conqueror of the world. You have to watch out for him because in the name of philanthropy, he is destroying so much undemocratically, not respecting democracy, constitution, people's rights, and people's liberties. So he and DARPA write a report on gene drives. Some of it is about mosquitoes, which they're already releasing in the name of controlling malaria. But one application is on the amaranth because the biggest superweed in America is now called the Palmer Amaranth. It can't be controlled. It's taller than the soya bean, it's taller than the corn. That's because nature has intelligence, they forgot. They forgot species evolve. They forgot that when you bombard too many antibiotics in the animal factories, we are going to get animal, we are going to get antibiotic resistance. They forgot then when you pump too much Roundup on the fields, the diversity will evolve a resistance and they can't control it now. So they want to control it through gene drives, which means pushing a species to extinction. They now want to put the amaranth to extinction. Earlier they just made it illegal. Now they would like the power to push it to extinction. Of course they don't have the power because illusions have always failed. They will just create a bigger mess. So I have just written a letter along with major organizations to say gene drives should not be allowed, not by the United Nations, not by national governments. And I hope you will, each of you, put pressure on your new government to remind them that certain tools are not to be deployed on this beautiful earth and on our societies and our communities. Now the denial of creativity and self-organizing of nature, which is the very nature of life, Life is self-organized complexity. Life is self-organized intelligence. That's what the science of living systems is now teaching us. It is not inert. It is not dead. It is not just this much mineral to be mined and these genes to be mined. It is living and it is intelligent. I think the two big steps that were taken to deny the creativity and productivity of the earth and of women are what I have called the production boundary and the creation boundary. The production boundary just says nature doesn't produce anything, she's just raw material. Only when we use the raw material we give it value. Nature has no value in and of herself. And in a similar way, women don't produce. That's why you get more and more women replying to questionnaires, even when they're more working morning till evening, they're working in the field, they're working in their homes. When you ask them, what do you do? They said, I don't work. Because you don't sell your labor. I don't work. Work has been reduced to selling your labor. Creative work has been defined as not working. So you construct during the wars a totally unscientific construct called the GDP, the gross domestic product and the gross national product. I don't know how many of you are aware it was created for the war. It was created to mobilize resources of society and the wealth of society, pull it out and use it to buy more arms, build bigger military, buy more fighter jets and more navy ships.